Have you ever been driving down the road and this happens? then you may have an issue with your automatic transmission. All right, so here we go. The complaint is transmission's kind of funky. Well, funky is one word for it. <laughs> if you are accelerating, as you can notice and see on the actual GoPro, we accelerate and the uh, RPMs go right up to four grand and the engine is just going at 30 miles an hour. That engine's revving, so that's a sign of the transmission slipping. It's not going into the next level of shifting, so we have an issue. We're gonna bring it in the shop and find out what that issue is. All right, so now that you know the symptom, you've actually driven the car, you feel that happening to you, well, this is what it is, right up here. This is the automatic transmission connected to the engine, goes back to the drivetrain, shoots back to the rear axle. On this particular car, it is a four-wheel drive, but mainly rear-wheel drive because it's a truck. Same thing with front-wheel drive cars, it's just turned this way, but you have an automatic transmission if you don't have a standard. But that slipping, that symptom, happens in clutches too, you know? People that ride the clutch or something, actually it starts to grab more and more up at the top, and they give it the gas, and you feel that, that's that sound. But this is just doing it mechanically, not with the clutch. So here she is right here. And this is really important. It's just as important as that engine because it helps you get around. Lunch is served and here you have it. It's not lunch, but what it is is simple things you can do to avoid that situation on that transmission. Maintenance, my friend. And this is a inside tranny filter, spit on filter. Not everybody has, which I wish everybody did because I think all cars should have it. Sometimes they have inline filters that go in the lines themselves and they just screw on and screw off. And it helps to break down any material that might be in, say a new radiator you get and the ATF goes through the radiator to cool itself down. If there's any debris in there, it goes through the lines and then it just goes up into the inside filter, which is not going to be there to catch everything. This guarantees it catches 90%. And then this is the secondary filter which that's kind of important. I wish we put them on all transmissions. Unfortunately, we don't. But if you do have one, you want to change this, you can do it in between changing of the internal one, change the external, maybe every 50K. So the seal on this is so important. Make sure that when you pull that filter down, if you don't see the seal attached to that long plastic input stem, look up inside that transmission, look up in there and get yourself a little hook if you have to, but you've got to pry that down and try your best, absolute best, not to score the side of that transmission because it's aluminum. If you score it at all, you could end up with a big problem because fluid pressure will drop and go past that seal. You install the new seal on the actual filter end, make sure it seats flush and then push it up in. And then a little deeper into the transmission is the valve body uh, solenoid pack. This actually contributes to a lot of erratic shifting and it's easy to fix so you don't have to spend tons of money doing it. This takes all the fluid and changes it into the cylinders, the solenoids in here, circuit board, they go on the demand for downshifting, upshifting, pressures are released in this. This is really important but the good news is that these are interchangeable and they're not that hard. It's just a push bolt and bolt in and unplug and plug in. Sometimes they need to be programmed and sometimes they don't, but that's a huge money saver if you do it yourself. And then we have what's the most important part actually is the fluid. We have full synthetic or is that full synthetic? We have full and semi synthetic right here and you can't tell the difference. And that's a problem if your car calls for full synthetic. If you put the other one in, you will end up with a problem in the long run. Don't think one quart's not gonna hurt. Mm, it's not going to help either. <laughs> so it's kind of like the nutrition in your body. If it calls for something, you have to use it. If you don't, you're going to have problems later on. And then the main thing here is a dipstick. Now, not all transmissions have them anymore. They don't want you touching them because they're sealed and fully synthetic. But around 100K, 120K, they really want you to do a service on that, or at least I do. You should do one if you're driving the car normal or if you're towing, if you have a truck. You really need to do that. It's really important. So now that we have the vehicle up and I've talked about this being a truck and cars, engine transmissions in the front, that's front wheel drive, unless it's four wheel drive, if it's all wheel drive, I mean, you're gonna have a transfer case and a drive shaft that goes back there, but the automatic transmission is gonna be up in 
the engine cradle area. Those usually don't have pans on them. Some of them do, some of them don't. But a lot of them will have this, which is really nice. It's called a drain plug. So you can drain the fluid out and do a regular service. The filters on those, you can check with your manufacturer or check online. Sometimes they're just a clear screen, and it's just to catch the big parts. So it's not like an oil filter where you have paper wrapped around and it catches little particles. It just catches big parts, which, by the way, if you have big parts in your transmission, you don't even need to catch them because it's really no good. But we're going to take this thing down because we know we have a problem with this. We felt the slip slips when you accelerate. Not all the time, but it's there. So let's see if we can fix it with a valve body solenoid and new fluid. So let's take it down. All right, so now that we've done our service, put a new valve body in with the solenoid attached, filled it with fluid, ran it for 45 minutes, checked it again, and we're right there where the level's supposed to be. We're going to road test this. Sometimes you got a 50-50 shot. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. It turns on all your notifications, and that way you won't miss any of these fun videos that we make for you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Lunch is served. Here it is. Lunch is served. Here we go.